Hello YouTube, my name is Maureen and welcome to Reen Reads. Um, I have a few stories, I don't know. I have a, first I want to start with a story. Um, I am wearing my, one of my favorite t-shirts ever. Um, it is from when the new Alice in Wonderland came out, the live action Tim burton -y one with Johnny Depp. Um, I was given this as a gift by an ex but I still wear it because I'm that kind of person. Um, but it says you're all mad like over and over and over again and it says it like all the way down my chest. And I just love the shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. I love the way it fits. I love the way it feels. Um, and one of my friends at work actually said to me, she's like, did you read your shirt before you put it on today? I was like, yeah, why? And she's like, oh, just wondering. I was like, all right, sorry, guess you don't know Alice in Wonderland, but I don't know. It's one of my favorite all-time favorite shirts. Love it. Love this shirt. Um, main dealio about this video is a review. Um, and I'm gonna do a review on a book called The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson. Um, I got this. This was suggested to me uh, from that. Um, that thing I'm doing, that book challenge on Instagram. I'm doing a book challenge on Instagram from, I can't even remember what her name is, Spellbound Books. Spellbound Books book challenge on YouTube or on Instagram. I thought about making coffee before this, but now I'm really considering it. Um, but yeah, let's get to this review and this book. I, what, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't too sure about this book because I had heard that, you know, you know, this girl's boyfriend, like, someone's boyfriend really liked it, but, some, you know, a girl really liked it, someone thought it was chiclet, someone thought it was this and that, but I was like, alright, let me give it a shot. Alright, from page number one, first page, I was sucked in. This book is so cool. It has so many layers. Like, this book touches on so many things. Like, okay, so there is an unnamed narrator, and he's the main character. Okay? So, he kind of starts out, and he's on, he's driving in the middle of the night, he's drinking alcohol, has alcohol in between his legs. And worst thing that could possibly happen, he gets into his accident and the car catches on fire. The man is covered from head to toe. Pretty much 101% his body is a giant burn. Um, he loses his toes. He loses his zang -lang, um, which they go over that in the book quite a few times. But this book is absolutely insane. The things that happen, it goes over, like, his recovery process from his burn. Um, this crazy, she, I guess they kind of describe her as crazy, but this woman, Marianne Engel, starts to visit him in the hospital while he's recovering from this burn. And she tells him stories about we've known each other our whole lives and he's like but I've never met you before and she you know goes on these stories and tells him stories about other people but it could I don't you kind of think she telling the truth is she lying is she just telling a really good story you really don't know until the end um but, like I said, this book pretty much covers everything. They had this little thing in the front of the book. Um, things that, you know, or the Library of Congress has cataloged this edition as follow follows. So you kind of get an idea of what they're going to talk about in this book. Um, burns and scalds, definitely covered. Um, patients, uh, traffic accident victims hospital wards, 
uh, reincarnation was one, uh, stone carvers, uh, Dante Alighieri, the man who wrote, um, Inferno, um, psychological, psychological fiction. So, if you are into any of those things, I would def definitely recommend reading this book. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure about it when I first started it, or when I first got it, I was like, Ugh, I was kind of hesitant about reading it, and I was like, I probably won't like this, now I'm stuck reading this book because it's on a challenge, but I really, 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 really liked it, like, beyond liked it. Um, you, like, you fall in love with the main character, like, so hard, he's, he's like, there, you would think that because he's covered in burns, He's, like, this non-lovable, like, mm, you know? But you are rooting for him the whole time because, like, I don't know, does, wouldn't anyone feel bad for someone, like, covered, their whole body covered in burns? Um, but I can kind of relate to this. I'm going to divulge a little bit here about Rob. Um, if you don't know, Rob is my boyfriend. Um, Rob has a burn scar. He got a burn when he was, like, four years old. I think he was four. Um, he bit an electrical wire and has an electrical burn scar on his mouth. So he's, like, part of his mouth is, like, I don't know, kind of something? I don't know. There's, like, scar tissue, so there's, like, scarring here. And, like, his lip is a little deformed here, but, like, I don't know. I thought, like... It kind of just made me think, like, wow, I love him, even though he has this, like, burn scar. So, like, what would keep me from loving so someone or loving a character who's, like, covered in burns and scars? But, yeah. I don't know. I would recommend this book. If you're into anything that I had mentioned before, um, you know, about, like, patients and burn victims and anything like that, you should definitely check this out because it is so cool. Um, the book is a little longer than the normal, um, the way it's kind of formatted, you don't think it's that long, but it's 516 pages, but, um, it doesn't feel like it's that many, um, but it's, it's pretty hefty, uh, there it is, yeah, it's pretty hefty, I guess, but, again, since I liked it so much, I kind of blew through it, um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this book. You guys should check it out. Uh, one more thing I wanted to express. Um, the reason I got into YouTubing was because I watched one of my friends. Uh, she not, wasn't really a friend. It was someone I went to high school with. She has a really popular YouTube channel, Rachel Whitehurst. Um, if you guys watch any beauty vlogs, you would know her. Um, but I recently just started watching Graveyard Girls' channel. And holy hell, she is so cool. I'm in love with her, like, so hard. And I just want to let y'all know I'm a member of the Swamp family now. So, mm, Swamp, if you guys are in the Swamp, love it. I gave an alligator its wings. Um, and shout out to Graveyard Girl and Bunny, because she is so fucking cool without even trying. So, yeah. That's about it. I just want to let you guys know. I don't know. It's like I'm fangirling over because I'm a fangirl. But yeah, that's about it. So, I don't know. Next time, probably be another review because I can't stop reading. I'm reading like crazy. But that's it. You guys should definitely check out the gargoyle. Super cool. So, YouTube, till we meet again.